discuss about the structure and function of nervous system. The first part will be about the function, the structure of nervous system, and the second part of this lecture will be about the functions of nervous system. The human nervous system consists of two major parts. The first part is is what the CNS. What CNS? It means what central nervous system. Central nervous system. CNS. And the second part is what the PNS, which means what peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system. The the CNS or central nervous system consists of two major parts. Those are what brain and spinal cord. The brain and spinal cord. The brain consists of further three parts: fore brain, mid brain, and hind brain. The fore brain is further subdivided into cerebrum. You could see here. You can, you can look at here. This is what the cerebrum. The first part of the first part of the 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 fore brain. And the second part is what major part is what thalamus. What thalamus? And the third part is what limbic system. You can see here. This is what the the limbic system consisting of your hypothalamus and amygdala. This is what the amygdala and what hippocampus. So your limbic system limbic system consists of your limbic system consists of three parts, and those are what the hypothalamus, amygdala, and hippocampus. Hypothalamus, amygdala, and hippocampus. They constitute what your your limbic system. And these three three major parts constitute your four brain. As far as the hind brain is concerned, that consists of three parts, and those are what the cerebrum. Sally Bolum. Sally Bolum. This one. And what pons? This is what pons. And this is what? Medulla oblongata. What? Medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata. Well, your brain, the whole brain is covered by a fluid. That fluid is known as what? CSF means cerebral spinal fluid cerebral spinal fluid so that so that it may protect your brain from the jerks and bumps from the jerks and bumps well further protection has been provided by nature to your brain by three layers and those are what pyre matter erectile and dura matter these three layers protect the brain, and then it is encased by encased by cranium. It is found on what the bone. Your, your, your cranium is found on what the bone. As far as the midbrain is concerned, this is what midbrain. The midbrain is formed of form of convolutions of many many neurons. Neurons. Well, your your brain has has the division of functions. Your brain has division of functions. For example, the largest part of your brain, cerebrum, it is concerned with sensory functions. Sensory functions. Your your Cerebrum that is concerned with what the sensory functions. Number two, motor functions. Number three, analysis of events and circumstances. The judgment and memory. When you memorize anything by learning, that is concerned with what your cerebrum. You take you take the learning from 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 the auditory sense, from your eyes, from your taste buds, from your skin, sense of touch, 
All these are concerned with what? Your cellular problem. Then comes what? The limbic system. The third major part of your, your, your forebrain. What? Limbic system. The limbic system, as I mentioned earlier, it consists of three parts. Those are what? Hypothalamus, amygdala, and hippocampus. The functions of your body, which are not under your control. For example, thirst, hunger, menstrual cycle, and uh, thermal regulation, all these functions, these are not under your control. So these, these autonomic functions are under the control of what? The limbic system. When you sleep, when you awake, all these are controlled by what? The limbic system. Hypothalamus has many other functions, but at the moment we are concerned with what the nervous functions. For example, it, is, it, it has the endocrine functions as well. We'll study later about, about the endocrine functions of hypothalamus. The, the third part, the third part which I have written as a second, uh, second, as a second point, that is what is the thalamus. The thalamus, thalamus functions, thalamus works as the relay station between the autonomic functions and the cerebral functions. Okay, now let's come to the, the, the third part of the, of the brain, that is what? The hind brain. One, two, three. One, one, three cerebellum, and uh, two cerebrum, and three, what? Medulla oblongata. These three parts constitute what? The hind brain. The, the learning is concerned you know, with what? Cerebrum. After learning, memorizing something, you put that memory, store that memory in, uh, in what? Cerebellum. When you recall something, you take, take that memory from memorizing from what? The cerebellum. Your activities like uh, breathing, that is concerned with what? Medulla oblongata. Sometimes you should have noticed what? You wake up, but not fully. Sometimes you feel sleepy, but you don't sleep. So your all the body parts, they, they, they are coordinated with the sleepiness. And all the parts are coordinated with what? With, with what? Awakeness. This, this is what made coincide by what? The pons. It is a, it is a part of hind brain. Your auditory area is, is concerned with what? Mid brain. Auditory area, auditory sense is concerned with what? The mid brain. From, from this figure, from this diagram, you can make the notice that, that the persons whose, whose uh, this brain has been drawn, it is what the right part of uh, the brain. Right part. It is the longitudinal section. Your brain, your brain has particularly your your cerebellum has two major lobes, right lobe and left lobe. Both lobes are are connected together to what a, a structure known as corpus callosum. You can make a notice of this one. Corpus callosum. It makes a connection between the right and the left lobe of cerebrum. The studies have revealed that your left side of the brain is different a bit from the right side. Those people who have active left side, they have better logic. Those people who have right side react with their good mathematicians. 
those people who have left side but are active, they are good musicians. Okay, so, so these things have also been studied. Uh, I will further elaborate about, about what the, the limbic system. The limbic system is not only concerned with thirst, not only concerned with hunger, not only concerned with the menstrual and estrous, estrous cycle, it is also concerned with what? The love, rage, and, uh, and, and emotions. Okay? Love, rage, and emotions as well. It is concerned with, with, these, with these functions, <laughs> the amygdala, amygdala particularly. Hippocampus is concerned with long-term long -term memory, long-term memory. You memorize the things, you learn the things, by what? Your cerebrum. Your, your, your memory is stored where? In your, in your cerebellum, cerebellum, okay? And your long-term memory is concerned with what? The hippocampus. So it's all about what your, 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 your brain and how, how does it function. Those nerves, I may add something, those nerves which connect the body with your brain, they're called what? Cranial nerves. Cranial nerves. And the nerves which, which connect, which coordinate the spinal cord, those are called what? Spinal nerves. This is all about the above center nervous system. We will discuss about, about the peripheral nervous system in the next lecture, inshallah. Thank you very much.